Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. So today we are going to take a look at a topic that we'll draw from the jar. I will just pull out one of these and I'll put that back in. <laughs> I'll shuffle properly. There we go. And what else did I want to also let you know? Somebody asked about what is the main deck that I use? It's Golden Universal Tarot. This is my favorite deck, guys. I have a favorite. It is now this one. So that's the one where the four cards will be. And today I will also use, oh, the boxes are all the way over there. I'm not going to, because I'm all plugged into the audio. So I'll just, I'll write, I'll write what the decks are below. So you'll be able to see what they are. Sometimes I just don't have time. Uh, okay, let's see what the topic is going to be. So it's going to be something along these lines. So it says here, to achieve the possible, we must attempt the impossible again and again. Okay, so I think what we will do, what kind of a topic can we do here? Something about, okay, so you're working through something repetitive. You're trying again and again. To achieve the possible, we must attempt the impossible. It's this thing of, I also like this concept of, it's kind of corny, but they'll say, you know, reach for the, for the moon and if you don't make it, you'll fall among the stars or something along those lines. Reaching for the moon. I'm also thinking, what are you on the brink of achieving? What are you on the brink of achieving? We kind of did look at that last time. I think some of you were on the brink of some things there. Attempt the impossible. Are you aiming too small? Or like, are you, it's something to do with your goal. So this is going to be, today's topic is going to be Or are you aiming for the right thing? Are you aiming for the right thing? Are you aiming? Do you need to reach higher? How about that? Do you need to reach higher? Need to reach for more. More. Yeah, I like that. Do you need to reach for more? Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that as our topic today. I'm just going to stick that on the wall next to me and let's see what comes. Do you need to reach for more? Do you need to aim higher? Do you need to, like, is your goal too small? That's quite good. We could do that. Is your goal too small? I think I prefer that. That's sort of simpler. Oh no, I dropped my pen. Oh no. Where, oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> uh, is your goal too small? Is that what I said? Is your goal too small? Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Is your goal, goal too small? Okay, we found the topic. I've, let my, I've allowed you to see my brainstorming process there. We brainstormed together just now, guys. I think that's quite fun. I like brainstorming with people. All right, so... Actually, are we allowed to say that? And no, that's not the most, yeah, PC term, is it? Apparently, I don't know. I'm old school. I use terms like, like that brainstorming. All right, guys, feel free to choose from your group. So group one, we have got this heart-shaped labradorite. I remember getting this from a mind-body-spirit festival. It's such a lovely stone. We have got this. <laughs> which I'm not sure exactly what this is. I remember getting this from a shop in Brighton a long time ago and I fashioned a little bit of wire. So this is just a, I think it's, it's like some inexpensive wire and that's either resin or super glue. So yeah, that's that. It's like maybe some kind of milky quartz, but you guys will have very good suggestions below as to what that is. Uh, and then we've got this. Now this is very difficult to, 
see actually to get any tone on this but it's blue tiger's eye oh there you go you can kind of see that on the left edge there yeah it's a very pretty stone this one all right so choose your group and i'll see you in your reading Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one or this really lovely labradorite stone, then you are in the right place. Now the topic is, is your goal too small? And if you watch the introduction, you'll see that I faffed around quite a bit <laughs> in order to get that topic. <laughs> I didn't know what we were talking about today. I didn't know that I would be doing a pick a card today at all actually. I just happened to have the right amount of time so I thought I would squeeze that in today. Okay, here we go. And we're gonna take one from the Caroline Mace deck. Uh, and we've got one from, I think it's called, yeah, so Caroline Mace Archetypes card and Energy Oracle cards is the other one. There we go. So this is the archetypes card. That one's poking out, we'll take it. And we'll take one from the energy oracle as well. I'm really glad to hear that you guys are enjoying this new format. I must say I'm enjoying it too. It is very easy to just you know quickly in my day find half an hour or so to make one of these videos all right let's take a look is your goal too small what is it that you're working on let's take a look we've had this before sometimes the card doesn't want to be seen justice okay hanged man oh nice the queen of pentacles Lovely. Oh, the Six of Cups. Very sweet little card there. Okay. And let's take a look at Victory. Nice. Okay. Mother. Yeah, we do have the Queen of Pentacles here. She's got quite a motherly vibe. Oh, this is interesting, group number one. Victory as well. Victory. And there is this thing of justice here. And recently I've come to learn about this card that... Uh, let's just take a look at the light attributes here. We've got here light attributes, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life, shadow attributes, smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. You know, straight away just from these two cards, I feel like you've had some kind of, and this is recently, some kind of victory or success, maybe in establishing boundaries with with yeah with your mother really or or somebody in your life victory because there's this thing of justice here justice has turned up also we've got this card which recently I have come to learn a new meaning for this which is that the advice from this card is to do nothing and maybe in some area of your life where you've actually done nothing this has actually been good for you I'll need to dig further into this we've also got the card of nostalgia here this is a card of the past maybe and that's the other thing justice is Libra, it's relationships, it's, um, it's Libra, it's relationships. So, oh, by the way, I'm just looking at the, we've got a lot of sunlight pouring into the window, so apologies if the lighting has all changed 
here. I'll try and correct it as I edit. Uh, but this justice card is here. This is interesting. It's like maybe in your relationships, romantic relationships, you have always been looking for a mother figure in the past. But like it feels like there's some victory over that. It's like going forward you're not going to keep looking for mother in your romantic relationships. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's take a look. Let's shuffle and see what comes. Yeah, really sorry about the lighting, guys. It's going to be up and down. Oh, that wanted to pop out. Let's take it. Jupiter in the second house. Speaks with authority and wisdom, exudes optimism, teaching comes naturally, takes on family business or runs own business, knowledgeable. But yeah, see, that's in the second house. And who is there in the second house? Mother. I mean, mother is, is, is here in the second and in the fourth, really. You know, childhood. I always see childhood from the second and who was in your childhood? And we've got this kind of childhood sort of card here. So this is to do with childhood. This is to do with your mother. And whether you're a guy or a girl, it can be, you know, for a lot of women as well. Women may look for aspects of their mother in their male counterpart, right? So that is... That is a possibility, but it's kind of like, and I feel it's through spiritual study as well. That's how we could see this. To me, this is going here. So we will clarify on this because I think it's through spiritual study that you've got yourself a victory here. Through spiritual study, I think we've figured out a lot about how you do relationships about how you show up in relationships and equally about what kind of a person you attract and why. So we'll take a look at this. I want to clarify on the hanged man. I think I know what's going on here. Now, how does this relate to the question, is your goal too small? I think, and I think that this reading for you is about your personal life. And I think... Yeah, I think I know what's going on in this reading. Okay, let's just see what this hanged man is about. That was jumping. Let's take it. Gosh, the lighting is so up and down. Okay. Ah, Ketu in the ninth. All right. Excels in higher education when you are. Yes, yes, completely. It's spiritual study. Yes, this is exactly what. All right, good. I think the guides and angels and everyone, they're rewarding you for your spiritual studies. I think you've figured out a heck of a lot about yourself in relationships, why you've attracted the people that you've attracted. Yeah, because we've got Ketu here. This is like a spiritual symbol. And we've got the ninth house here, which is books, study, right? So excels in higher education when young, distance from father, will create their own path. Spiritual power respects religion, tradition. Yes. So you haven't been doing nothing. It might seem to the outside world that you've been doing nothing, but you've actually been doing a huge amount. You've been doing a lot of spiritual study. And what this has done, I think, is that it has, yeah, I kind of want to say it's relaxed you. And I think you've figured out a huge amount of stuff about your relationships, why you've been attracted, attracting or attracted to people who are like your mother or who are strong motherly types. You now have victory over this in that I feel like this reading is saying you've done the work, you've done the digging, you've done the spiritual work and now, so it's like, is your goal too small? Well, maybe who you think you want to be with or like romantically or whatever, it's like maybe there's a whole new pool of people that are going to open up to you. 
okay so it's kind of like it's time to leave these classical figures behind of, of who you've been typically attracted to and you could take mother or father okay maybe for women like maybe you've looked at your past relationships and you've seen oh wow yeah everyone I've dated they have been like my father you know and I was trying to get from the male partner what I wanted my dad to give me and reverse it for if you're a man and you know yeah I think you've figured out all of that intellectually yes but I think in your beingness as well because this also this hanged man is a bit of a beingness sort of a card I think you've figured out a huge amount about relationships and now what's going to happen is like a whole new pool of people is going to be available to you that weren't before so it's like I think your future relationships you'll be attracting someone very different or new or it's not going to be the same person or same type of person or same people oh I don't know if you just heard that but I think that was my doorbell oh, I don't think I need to check it I mean I'm not expecting anything yeah weird anyway maybe they made a mistake all right let's see what's in here that was my doorbell anyway uh, oh oh this is good this is exactly this reading there is no shame in not knowing the shame lies in not finding out Russian proverb yeah and I think you've done the digging I think you've been prepared to deal with whatever feeling you're like I, I, I want to know I want to know I want to look at myself critically you know but not in a not in a mean harsh way in, a, in an honest way I think you've looked at yourself honestly and I think you've woken up to a whole bunch of stuff and figured stuff out and I think now in your romantic life a whole new bunch of people oh well someone really does want to get in touch here um oh oh right oh okay um right it's my neighbor so what I'm gonna do is um I'm just going to pause this and I will come right back Hi there group one sorry about that I just went to the door it turns out it was my neighbor she was leaving some chocolate brownies how incredibly sweet but I think that that needs to be incorporated into the reading because yeah she's this amazing person who is so lovely and motherly but it's like there's something about like this like look at that someone's ringing on your bell and these new people are turning up or there's something about new people yeah in in your romantic life something along those lines there is no shame in not knowing the shame lies in not finding out I really like that that's great and you've done the digging you've done the work you've figured out a lot of stuff about your subconscious how your relationships have worked and why they've been a certain way and you figured out so much stuff that now it's victory it's like you've dealt with that it's time for something new let's take one more and then I'll get into the next reading oh this is great the bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists Japanese proverb yeah this is really lovely for this reading as well because I think there's something about you that is flexible now more flexible than ever before because you've figured out so much stuff and understood so much about yourself and about your past and why your past has made you the way it's made you and uh, you know you figured out so many things that now you're way more flexible and and able to entertain a whole new type of suite of people or type of people or you know and especially romantically you know how incredible that's amazing like if you're looking for a partnership uh, if you're not looking for a partnership and you're in a committed partnership well together you and your partner there'll be new untapped things because we've got this heart here as well you see it's like there'll be new untapped uncharted territories new things you'll be able to enjoy together you know um really amazing guys all right well let me know how you got on in the comments below i'd love to hear from you 
and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two or this very beautiful stone which looks like some kind of milky quartz or isn't an agate maybe? Maybe it's some kind of little agate stone. I'm not entirely sure. Someone will know in the comments. You guys are great at that. Um, but that's some kind of white beautiful stone and I think the topic, let me refresh my mind. I'm just kind of I'm just getting back into the swing of things. I've just answered the door. My neighbor came. Uh, the topic is, is your goal too small? Right. Let's take a look. Is your goal too small? Yeah, my neighbor, she's so sweet. She's left me this small package of chocolate brownies on the day I quit sugar. I quit sugar again today for the 50 millionth time. It's very difficult. <laughs> it is not easy to quit sugar. I often have little mini detoxes from sugar and say I'll never eat sugar again. And then I get a delivered a little package of <laughs> chocolate on my doorstep. Oh gosh. So nice. Oops, there we go. Take that one. So is your goal too small? We're gonna take a look. Went a bit long on group one today. Let's see if I can be more efficient here. Also, the lighting was not working out in group one. I think we're going to have better lighting because the sun's gone behind the clouds. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's take a look. Is your goal too small? Again, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, she really wants to be here. Hmm. Oh, there we go. All right, Seven of Cups. Okay, so we've got Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, right, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, take a look at that. Okay, we'll see what's in here. Patience. Yeah. And, oh, Martyr, okay. Let's take a look. Learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Shadow attribute addiction to self-pity. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. See what's going on. I do think this is about love life as well. If you were in uh, group number one, group number one was also about love life. I think this is about love life too. And I think this is about a small like a, a relationship perhaps that didn't last long um, is, is the vibe I'm getting so this is like a short like maybe you went on a few dates with someone but it didn't work out maybe you were dating them for two two or three months I do find that yeah two or three month mark if you don't make it past that uh, that's it that's a classic point where people break up two or three months I have seen that and equally two to three years is classic as well two to three years is and that's a Saturn transit and that's like people stop there because it's like well are you getting married and then there are some people who well they're just in the relationship for 10 years you know and it's, there's no talk of marriage that they're just happy there in that kind of relationship you'll see a lot of sort of rahu in seventh house type people they're, they're cool with just yeah just be together but don't get married kind of thing um but to me this feels like a recent heartbreak maybe or like a fresh or something like um just a few weeks or uh a couple of months and it didn't work out kind of thing. The reason I say it's something like dating because we've got here the seven of cups, which is a lot of possibilities. It's a lot of, you know, perhaps you, you're seeing a few people or something like that. People do that. They see a few people and um, yeah, but there's somebody 
that you really did like, but it didn't work out. But you are this Queen of Pentacles here, okay? And there's got to be something around. And I think, it, I think this is a thing of you seeing yourself as a Queen of Pentacles, okay? You need to up your value, up your worth. Because at the moment, I think how you value yourself is you sacrifice yourself too much in relationships. And you'll do that if you don't have a high self-worth or high self-esteem. And believe me, I know this stuff because I have, yeah, that I, I've read a lot of books about all this. <laughs> like I really know this area. I've lived it. I've made all the mistakes. I totally know this. Um, what one has to do uh, when you have this kind of thing going on is you have to value yourself more, value yourself, you know, to, to be what you are, not, not like extra or, you know, but you have to value yourself more because maybe there's something about you right, right now where you're not valuing yourself highly enough and these really are the lessons of Venus it'll be really interesting actually if we shuffle here and if we see any Venus come up because yeah this is very um oh, let's take it I hope it's Venus oh it's Mercury damn <laughs> it would have been great if it was Venus but it's interesting that Mercury comes up because you could be yeah, see, when, when, when we're looking at Mercury and Venus, we're looking at, so we're looking at Venus in Virgo or Venus in Gemini. These people are very analytical about love. And yeah, and love can become a bit of a rules type of thing. There was that famous book called The Rules. I don't know if anyone remembers that. It's quite old now. But the rules of dating, oh gosh, that, that, that book would just not work in today's society. But it worked a long time ago. Let's have a look what it says here. Master strategist, logical, intelligent, resolves conflicts, excels as a lawyer. If afflicted, causes mental and nervous breakdowns. Detail-oriented, clinical. Yeah, and what I'm seeing this really is a is a match to this because it's kind of like I think this is where the heartbreak is coming from something to do with rules maybe you you did something there's something about someone did something wrong okay is the feeling that I'm getting someone did something wrong it might have been you it might have been the other person it might have been both of you but yeah this is a love kind of thing and there's something about someone did something wrong and now there's all these bad feelings kind of thing but we do have the word patience here which is that if you're patient and if you're cool this thing could come back it could repair it could be okay so i think the guidance here is to be patient now this thing of is your goal too small I think it is. I think this title does apply in this reading because it's like, is your goal too small? I think it, it's, this reading is about, is your concept of yourself too small? Because you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. You're actually a really beautiful, great person, but the, you're not seeing that. So let's see what comes. Let's see what comes. Let's just shuffle. Jupiter in the 11th yeah yes I think we're getting a confirmation here that your goal is too small because we've got Jupiter stepping in and Jupiter is in the 11th so that is excels in finance entrepreneur brilliant intellect loves music rich lives long famous courageous teaches children beautifully yeah I mean and especially if this is a female watching this and you are the queen of pentacles but you're missing this Jupiter you're missing this partner you probably perceive that he's all these wonderful things but I actually think this Jupiter is here in the 11th which is saying expand your possibilities expand your world and meet more friends make more friends focus on friendship be with your friends hang out with your friends 
don't worry if the yeah if love life is not going so great right now it's kind of like something about be patient this situation could resolve and work itself out we've got the word here resolves conflicts yeah this could resolve this could turn into something but there is something about so jupiter is a thing of expanding your network expanding your friends expanding your concept of yourself and who you are and who you can attract and yeah th there is a little bit of a similar message uh, that was in group number one and that that was about well group number one was a bit different but the, yeah th this is a bit different here but the message is about upping your self-worth that's what this is about. And don't be sacrificing yourself all the time in relationships. Are you getting, is there an equal give and take? If there isn't, then don't, yeah, look at that. Look at that seriously and with critical thinking. And by critical thinking, I don't mean critical as in criticism. I mean kind of like in a mercurial way, in an impersonal way. Look at it, look at it impersonally. You were probably giving a lot, a lot more than you were getting in return. Uh, let's have a look here. It says, a spoon does not know the taste of soup, nor a learned fool the taste of wisdom. Welsh proverb. Okay. <laughs> um, is this doing anything for me? A spoon does not know the taste of soup. Yeah, this, this one isn't particularly helpful for this reading because you could really be missing the experience of somebody. I know. Let's get, let's get another, let's, let's, okay, let's just park that over there. <laughs> I don't particularly like that one for this reading. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, okay. You don't get to choose how you're going to die or when, but you can decide how you're going to live now. Joan Baez. Yeah, and that's really good because, you know, and so, sometimes you don't, you don't get to choose who you're going to be with and you, you don't get to choose like uh, when you're going to fall in love and you don't choose when you're going to fall out of love. And the other person is the same. You know, when people fall in love or fall out of love, that's sometimes we don't choose that isn't that interesting so you've got to allow the other their freedom all right so if you're in this heartbreak situation and but you think they did something wrong or you did something wrong or something i don't know there's something like this and but you're feeling um if you're feeling bad like yes because sometimes See, when you fall in love with someone, it's like there's no reason sometimes. And when you fall out of love with sometimes, in that phase, there's no reason as well. You know, and that, yeah, and the timing can be, you know, we don't get to choose that. You don't get to choose that. But you can decide how you're going to live now. And that's where this thing of going out with the friends and expanding your life, expanding your income, expanding your network, your circle, your fun. The 11th house is beautiful. All the fun stuff happens there. Really, it's, it's a great place. So expand your life. That's what's here for you. We'll take one more because I wasn't too happy with that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. And I nin. And I nin. Is that how you pronounce that? Well, it's this is a lovely quote, and this is exactly this Jupiter in the eleventh house. This one, two, three, four, five. Yes, is asking you to expand your courage, expand your life, expand your friendship circle, expand other areas of your life that is not your love life grow that build that enjoy that enjoy the simple things enjoy your projects and your hobbies and the little things that you love to do that you weren't able to do when 
you know, you were busy with this person, right? Group number two, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three or oh, this very beautiful uh, blue tiger's eye, you can kind of see it from here. Blue tiger's eye crystal, then you're in the right place. Now let's take a look. We're going to shuffle these. Okay. Let's see what comes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ah, and we'll have one of these. and one of the other kind as well which is this which is i think they're called the energy energy oracle cards how are you group three i hope you're doing good wherever you are thankfully i think the sun has disappeared today so we should have decent lighting for your reading group number one reading did not have good lighting it also had an interruption that was an interesting reading. All right, let's take a look, see what's going on here now. Ooh, deception. Seven of Swords. Holding on. Okay. Interesting cards. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. That's a good card. All right. Everybody could use that card right now. Oh, and the Queen of Wands, how fantastic. She's very creative. Deceit, far out, this has come twice. <gasps> You're being given message, a message here, group number uh, three. All right, yeah, and uh, oh, Femme Fatale, okay. This is to do with your love life. To me, let's just take a look at these. So it says here, highlights uh, highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected. Okay. Shadow attributes, inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. Wow, interesting. Well, I'm going to give you a moment to think about what meanings come for you. I should do this for all groups, actually. Um, I should have a habit of that, letting you just a little bit of space to think. I'm also going to think about what this is because look, uh, what I'm seeing here, I do have a few thoughts in my head because you've shown up as the queen of wands. That's a really great energy. I think the deceit is here in your world and because of the femme fatale archetype that's here, it's to do with your love life. And what I think is I think there's someone maybe in your past that's holding on we've got the holding on card okay someone in your past is holding on to you but what i'm seeing is that you have the potential to be yourself on your terms to make money make abundance and i think that should be your goal so we've got here is your goal too small yeah and i think if you entertain this energy in your life it won't be good for your life basically it's like there's someone in the background who's sneaking around and you don't like it you don't want it anymore and yeah i think but let them do it they they're doing if they, it's their karma they can do you know let people be free to do what they do you do what you do so if you've got someone in the background of your life who you know is sneaking around trying to take from you trying to take your energy all these low behaviors right because they're not going to turn up without the mask they only turn up with the mask on so why are you going to entertain that you're a queen of wands is your goal too small? Well, yeah, I think it is too small. If there's some 
energy like this in the background. So, and you might have to draw a boundary. Maybe you've expressed it. Maybe you've expressed, I don't like this, and yet they keep carrying on. Then it's on their head. They'll deal with God or whatever later, you know, let, let them, let their karma play out. But you keep your energy good. So let's shuffle and see what comes. Yeah, it's not fun to deal with this stuff, group number three, and don't entertain it anymore. And this can be, this can also just be like friends who are slack. You know, I it's I was talking to yeah my mum earlier and anyway there's this friend who just keeps like sending me like I don't know photos of his kid and but he doesn't send any like ask me how are you or this or that and my mum's just like oh my god she's just like just delete him from your WhatsApp just get rid of that you don't need that in your life and it's like yeah I don't like you know it's just what is this okay we've known each other a really long time. But like, you know, he never shows up as himself. He always shows up as, oh, here's what my kid is doing. Or, you know, and it's like, well, do you want to ask me how I am? Or, I don't know, anyway. But well, I mean, at least he does show up with his actual name, I suppose. Some people have got this awful thing of fake people, fake accounts keep turning up and all that nonsense. It's just so bad. Anyway, let's see what this is. Yeah, Mercury in the seventh house. This is about... Wow, all three of them have been about love today. This is interesting. Mercury in the seventh. Yeah, and it's like, I think you have to be cold and clinical about, you know, love life, actually. Because, let's take a look. What does this say? Gift for empathy, artistic communication, stylish dresser, marriage to a wealthy spouse who has a good family, achieves gains through migration. How I'm going to read this is that you have to be logical and clinical about who gets to be by your side in a romantic connection. This is the seventh house. So Mercury is here. And I've just recorded that eclipse video. And there I talked about the fact that the eclipse, you know, Venus wasn't particularly a player. You had Mercury and Mars as players. And that was happening in Libra, right? Which is seventh house, which is relationships, partnership, all that kind of thing. So it is very interesting. And there I said, cold and clinical, you know. And I think this is, yeah, there's some, there's, there should be some basic requirements of who gets to spend time with you, right? Some basic requirements of, okay, like, you know, you, you want some minimum things, don't you? <laughs> like, turn up with your name, <laughs> be honest, tell me your life. Like, so, so many people hide stuff look at that hiding deceit holding on yeah and it's like there should be you should know what are your basic rules okay what's mercury mercury's rules when in the six definitely right it's about but it's rules it's logic it's like what are the rules what are the minimum things that you should have in someone who for example yeah gets to be by your side or gets to be your friend or whatever it is, it's like you should have some minimum standards. Good, I'm liking this reading a lot, group number three. And hopefully this eclipse is just going to cut this weird fuzzy energy out of your life because you don't need it anymore. It's just ridiculous. I'm lucky I don't have this kind of thing to deal with. But I totally understand when people do. Okay, let's see what this one is. Wow, I love it. Wow. Saturn in the seventh. Yeah. Yeah, this is a planet of tough love. If ever there was one, Saturn in the seventh. Let's see what's written here. Excels as a merchant, resides abroad, gains distinction internationally, delayed marriage to an older partner, disciplined, hardworking, self-critical. Yeah, self-critical, and I would say as well, critical of partner. Okay, again, that who is going to be by your side thing. Are they good enough? If they're not, if they keep showing up as this, they're certainly not. Not only are they not good enough, but you really want this person to stay away from you, you know? Yeah. 
Saturn in the seventh. This is commitment. This is, and this is honesty. My goodness. This is the judge. This is the judge archetypally. Yeah. Yeah. And the judge is neutral. But the judge, look at that. We've got two seventh house. This is incredible. The judge is neutral. But, it, but intelligent, through Mercury, you will come down on one side of the... Okay, yeah, you have to be a judge, you have to be neutral, sure. But, you know, I mean, if there's so much of this, you've got to come down firmly on a particular side and set a boundary. Saturn, in a relationship house, you have to set a firm boundary. And it is, it's that all that no means no, and yeah, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Are you having to say no to someone? What have we got here? Is your goal too small? Yeah, and I think your goal is too small. If you've got these energies in there. And I, there's something about just clearing them out, and you get on and being you. And don't worry, the divine will do it for you as well. And if they continue, if they continue doing these behaviors, they're, they're really doing a disservice to themselves and to their own. It's bad for their own karma. You know, like, and that's where I, this is where, that's my approach. My approach is very hands off. Like my hands are like, whoa, hands off. You know, I, I don't need to do anything because divine will take care of everything. Divine will you know, yeah, that's, you, you don't have to do anything, I think. If there's somebody in your space that you, you're not liking or... As I say, that friend of mine who keeps sending me, like, pictures of his kid, but he'll never ask me, how are you or what are you up to or whatever. And, yeah, my mom said, just stop replying, just don't... Yeah, she gave me a bit of a lecture today. She was just like, oh my God, just, <laughs> she's like, don't, don't write back. Don't feel guilty for not writing back. What the hell are you doing? And I was like, yeah, I had a real wake up moment because it's hard when like, if you've known someone, see, I've known this person since I was like 18, you know, <laughs> so I think that's why there's like a childish, and that's what I was saying to my mum, it's a bit of a childish friendship that we have that like, you know, but yeah, she's right. Oh, I love this quote. This is great here. You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. C.S. Lewis. Dream a new dream, Queen of Wands. New dream. Okay? Forget this. Something here. To, and I don't know what this is. This could be, yeah, this could be all kinds of different things. But is, is it is time for you to dream a new dream now. Is your goal too small? Yeah, you need to expand your dreams and your goals and everything, definitely. Yeah, perfect. Wow, this could not be a more perfect reading. This is sensational. If you meet someone whose soul is not aligned with yours, send them love and move along. Boom, Dr. Wayne Dyer, absolutely fantastic. Yes. And look, we've got an eclipse coming. Eclipse will clear out a whole bunch of things uh, and let God do it. Let God do it and send them love. I, I, I believe in that. Look, you know, I, I, at the end of the day, that, the, that is our spiritual goal as well. We have to love all people, you know. I don't want to hate anybody. I don't hate anybody, you know. I find good things in everyone. I look for good things in everyone. But if someone keeps let's say for example someone keeps coming into my space to antagonize me well then you know they're doing themselves a great disservice spiritually they're, they're coming they're, they're clocking up a lot of bad karma they don't they probably don't understand any of these things as well and that's on their head let them do their journey it's not not your business you're not here to heal the whole world fix the whole world help the whole world teach the whole world that's not what you're here to do you're here to enjoy life Group number three, don't forget to enjoy life, you know, it's really, really, really important. All right, wow, this was a, 
bit of a sort of boom. <laughs> like <laughs> just, this is a very punchy reading. This one, just like really straightforward. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, let me know how you got on in the comments below. If that was helpful or useful, I would love to hear from you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. Group number three. And I look forward to seeing you next time.